All right, guys, I went to the link that I gave you guys down in the description and downloaded the Windows um, bootable disk and put it on an SS, or excuse me, a flash drive. Now I'm loading Windows on the SSD. So I'm gonna go ahead and follow the steps. I filled out the brief information. All I've gotta do is hit install now. I'll let it go ahead and do its thing. In the meanwhile, Miss Jackie's looking as cute as could be. What are you up to, Miss Jackie? Huh? What are you up to? I was going to ask you for a product key. You can skip this and do it later on. Okay, I just select uh, Custom Install. And then I'm going to go ahead and select Next. Okay, it's doing its thing. Okay, it's just restarting. I'm not sure what it's gonna do. Okay, it's been doing some updates, getting ready and whatnot. There's probably another 10 minutes. While it's doing that, I also forgot to mention to you guys, probably should have said this much earlier on, but I went ahead and unplugged everything but one, and the one that is, ow, whoops. <laughs> that was funny. I uh, got the CPU fan on camera. I hope that gave you guys a good laugh. But <laughs> I unplugged everything but the one that's plugged into the monitor. And I like to plug the monitor into the uh, 16 pin instead of the 16X instead of the 1X. So um, just something to kind of you know, eliminate potential problems. I always like to set everything up with one and then I'll add them in from there it's asking for a product key again you can actually do this later uh, like I said skip this and then go to the website like I was telling you guys about I'll put a link down in the description where you can get it for $27 so you don't have to do that right now um, get going fast I'm gonna do customize settings so I'm gonna show you guys what I do I don't like to leave pretty much all of this stuff on. Personalize your speech type off. Uh, no, they don't need any of this. Less apps you have, no. Location, definitely not. We'll go over here to next. And then browser protect. Um, fine, we can leave that one on. Page protection improve reading speed up. No, we'll turn that off. Uh, error reporting. Nope. We don't want any of this on. Turn that off. The browser protection is kind of like questionable, but I'll go ahead and leave it on. Um, just because in case people use it and in case they go somewhere else. But there's a lot more setups that I'll show you guys how to do too once this gets started. Okay, another screen came up asking me for a product code. I said I'll do that later on hands and I don't know why it's asking me to do locations again off well, I just turned all this stuff off I don't know just ask me to do it again okay here we go browser protect yeah we'll leave that on off very weird I don't know why I just did that twice okay here we go I guess something was wrong the first time so I did it a second time and now I've got to name the PC and go from there. Okay, I just went ahead and named the PC. I'm not going to put a password on it. Uh, that way it will just automatically log in since it's a mining PC. That's going to make be your best bet. So let's go ahead and click next. Okay, it's doing its thing. All right, we've got Windows. It's loaded, ready to go. So let's go ahead and start setting this up. You guys want to go and click the left-hand corner start menu and then click settings. Okay, let's start with system. We're gonna go ahead and select power and sleep. Let's see if I can do this left-handed. And then we're gonna select additional power settings. Um, okay, there's quite a few things we're going to want to do. 
once we get here we're probably going to want to change the power plan okay here it is we're going to do this little drop down here show additional we're going to select high performance and you want to enable high performance Okay, this is going to help a lot. Make sure that you guys uh, do this to all of your mining PCs. Select high performance. And then we're going to go ahead and close this. And let's see what else we need to go through. Okay, we're going to go ahead and select the back arrow over here in the top left-hand corner. Okay, guys, we're going to go ahead and select this privacy. Okay. Um, no need to have any of this on. I just go ahead and turn it off. Uh, let's see. Location, location should already be off. No app should have access to any locations. Okay, good. Um, camera should already be off. Nope, we don't want to allow apps to use the camera. Microphone. Account info, let apps access this. Nope, we don't want to do that either. Contacts. Turn all this off. Calendar. Nope, they don't need to access any of this. Messaging. They don't need any of this either. Radios. Apps don't need to control the radios. Other devices, let your apps automatically share and sync. Well, <clears throat> this might be handy depending on what you do, but I don't need it, so I'm going to turn this off. Let's see, feedback and diagnostic. Automatic is fine. I don't need to give them full, I just want to give them basic. background apps calendar photos none of this stuff needs to be running turn all this stuff off okay let's see I'm gonna probably go back to settings and see what else I can find okay the next thing we're gonna need to do is go into updates and security we're gonna go into Windows Defender they this does not need to be on. I like Windows Defender on. It's if you do any web surfing, it's handy. If you don't do any web surfing, and sometimes antivirus software, it, it just depends what you're going to do on your mining computer. If you're going to go to any forums or download anything, leave this on. If it's strictly mining only, you can turn it off and strip it. Safe side, we're going to go ahead and leave this on just in case you go to a form or something and you have some protection at least and your computer doesn't get compromised. So let's go up to Windows Update, uh, Advanced Options. Um, we're gonna wanna defer upgrades. We're going to want to go notify to schedule a restart. see if there's anything else okay there's a few other things we're going to need to do while we're in here we're going to want to go down and choose how your updates are delivered and basically I don't mind them uh, one computer within my network feeding so that it doesn't eat up a bunch of bandwidth but I don't want to be feeding everybody else on the internet so you got to make sure to change that over uh, so that way you're not using your bandwidth to update everybody's windows. So let's go ahead and go back and privacy settings we'll probably go to in just a second. View history update. Let's click learn more. No, we don't need that. We don't have internet yet even though it's plugged in because we do not have drivers. We're going to have to go to another computer and go to Azrock's website with a flash drive and download the drivers. Which I'll do in a few minutes. Right now, all we're doing is setting up. 
windows. Privacy settings, we've already gone through this. Yep. Okay guys, that takes care of it. That is how you set up windows for a mining machine.